Well, Dan, don't worry, I can chop the first one now, if it yeah. needs to be. So, I'm talking to you and not looking at that then, am I? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 just chatting to yeah. us, just forget that's yeah. even on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hello everybody and thank you for joining us for this episode of Talk of the Town podcast. Today we have a very important guest talking about a very important topic. We have Jackie Fox. Um, anyone who follows me knows that I absolutely respect Jackie Fox so much. Um, she has a very harrowing story but very important message that needs to go out to people. Um, Jackie's daughter, Nicole, who you call Coco, um, unfortunately killed herself in 2018 after being relentlessly bullied online. Jackie went on um, after that and fought to have Coco's law brought into Ireland and is now fighting in Europe to get a law of the similar Similar, law, probably not the same name, but brought in. Um, So we're going to talk to Jackie about this and obviously it's something that massively affects the, not just the youth of today, everybody today, um, and social media being as big as it is, and people behind screens and trolling and all of that. So we're we're going to talk about it all today. And if it's okay with you, Jackie, we can start off with your story and unfortunately what led to you having to yeah. take this road in life. Yeah. Um, so if you want to tell yeah. people about Nicole, um, Nicole was uh, she was such a funny person growing up. She was lively, she was bubbly, she was so outgoing. She had a lot of friends growing up because um, we had a mobile home in Wexford for, for years and we'd always go down saying, um, you know, all through the summer, midterm, bank holiday. So every time we went down, the same friends would always go down. So growing up, she, she had the same friends for for years. She was, uh, she didn't like school, but she was good in school. She was a wizard at maths and she wanted to be an accountant when she got older and she also wanted to do a lot of travelling, but she never got to do any of these things. Um, Nicole, she loved to sing and dance and even though Nicole had the most horrendous, horrific singing voice that <laughs> you could... Uh, no, she was so <laughs> At least they're honest. Bad. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> pretend that she had a good voice. Um, she was so bad, but she, you know, she didn't care. Yeah. She just loved to sing and dance. And um, even going down to, to Court Town in Wexford, uh, Nicole would always sit beside me in the car and my two boys would be in the back and she'd have her earphones in. Now, obviously, she could hear, yeah. say, Chris Brown was a favourite. She could hear Chris Brown and the music, but we could only hear Nicole's voice. So and driving down for the, the air and 10 minutes down to Court Town was, it was so cruel. It was so unfair <laughs> on us. And the boys used to say, Mam, will you tell her to shut up? And no, she didn't care. She would belt it out, but it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. But, um, yeah, no, she was grateful. She was cheeky, um, like everyone else. And many times I used to run up the stairs after and uh, in an argument and she'd still have to get that last word, yeah. you know. And, I, I um, one of them. Yeah. A strong character. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I was so proud of her. Anything, she, she was such a gentle person. Yeah. She was, uh, she although she was outgoing with her friends, she was, she was shy in a lot yeah. of ways as well. And, you know, back then, if you were lucky... To know her at that time, you know, she would have been the greatest friend to yeah. you. you. know, everyone kind of went to Nicole and yeah. um, she was just, uh, she, you know, she was a, she never suffered with mental health or anxiety or anything like that growing up. That all happened. Which is scary Afterwards, well. yeah, it destroyed her. But, um, and yeah, I watched it, videos of her and pictures and mm. she was stunning. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what killed her. Yeah, she was beautiful. Yeah, that's what killed her. Um, everything everything was fine until she she couldn't wait until she reached the age of 18 so she could yeah. get into her nightclub uh, you know her first nightclub and she used to try a few weeks before that and she'd get all done up and dressed up and she'd go to the same nightclub with the same bouncer <laughs> on the door yeah. and he'd refuse her every week and he goes no Nicole and um, so when she she reached the age of 18 and um, you know she was dying she couldn't wait to go out she at that time she had a so-called friend, a boy, um, who he used to come down to court town with us. Um, you know, they go to the pictures. He, he, he did like her, but she, she fancied another boy and okay. he, she never went out, but they did everything together. And um, 
Yeah, they, they, they went, and it was weird because his birthday was on the same date as Nicole's as well, so the two of them were yeah. ready to go to this nightclub. Okay. And that's where it all went wrong. Um, from such a bubbly, funny, caring, cheeky, um, you know, normal childhood, um, it all went wrong when uh, she went to that nightclub in um, the Red Cow in okay. Buzz. Um, when she went to the Red Cow, um, every, everything was fine for the first few months um, and it wasn't until this this main girl, this is the bully that I'm going to be talking about, she liked Nicole's friend and the only way she could get closer to this friend was uh, to make Cole, uh, to make friends with Nicole yeah. so she could be close to him you know and it wasn't until she, she figured out then that, that um, the boy he didn't want to go out with her, he didn't want to be with her and she couldn't stand that, she hated the fact uh, that you know that she still had the down, friend. Yeah. yeah. But this main person was a coward. She couldn't bully Nicole on her own, um, so she formed a group. And it started off with, say, six or seven people. And what they used to do to her in the nightclub, um, silly little things at the start. You know, Nicole would put her drink on the table and they'd swipe it off and they'd go, oh, so sorry, didn't mean that, you know, like or so they'd knock start, her down, yeah. yeah. But um, in the nightclub, um, although Nicole didn't smoke, her friend um, smoked and they used to go down to the smoking area in the nightclub and um, these six or seven people um, started to, to, they'd gather around Nicole and they started to stick the cigarettes into her, her skin. Like, now, what, I, what I'm going to tell you happened over the space of three and a half years. Constantly, every chance they'd get, they'd hurt her. So they were sticking the cigarettes into her. But what, what they'd say to her is, oh, sorry, Cole, that was an accident. And with other people in the smoking area, it looked like an accident. Yeah. They were apologising. Yeah. Um, I told you Nicole loved to sing and dance and she'd be up on the dance floor and again they'd gather around her on the dance floor and they'd be dancing like idiots, you know, but silly dancing where yeah. they'd give her an elbow yeah. in the face or oh and they'd knock her down to the ground but again they'd help her up. Yeah. Oh sorry, so sorry, because Nicole was five foot the same height as me and they'd say, Oh, you were so small, you know, I didn't see you there and but then um, another night Nicole was walking out of the, the bathroom in the nightclub and one of them walked towards her. Now the main girl that picked on Nicole was 23. Um, so we're not talking kids or you know, babies, young yeah. teenagers. Yeah. When Nicole was walking out of the bathroom and one of them walked towards her, but she pushed her so hard, Nicole so hard, into the corner of the table that he actually dislocated Nicole's hip. Oh, oh my God. And yeah, and she ended up in hospital. But there was in the in the nightclub as well. There was a a, a flight of stairs and, um, it, oh, this was in another another pub. Sorry, uh, a flight of of metal stairs. And one night Nicole was walking down the stairs and one of them got her by the hair, and literally bounced her down every single metal step until she got to the end. And um, they Jackie beat did, her up anytime. at that point. Did Nicole realise she was being bullied? Did she yeah. realise that she was the, yeah. the target yeah. of these girls? Mm. Yeah, yeah okay. she did, yeah. Because um, that was uh, seven or uh, six or seven people, but um, during the middle of the bullying, it, it went up to probably 15 people. So they constantly, and they, they made a fake profile page called Saoirse, and on that they said that you were going to beat her up so badly and leave her on life support machine and that you were never going to stop. Now Nicole went to different nightclubs to get away from them, but you know the likes of Snapchat and WhatsApp, if you want to find where someone's going. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so they used Absolutely. to follow her to different yeah. nightclubs just to, just to beat her up. Did she have a close-knit friends herself that she, were aware of this, that yeah. would support her? Yeah, she, and, yeah, yeah, she, she had a couple of friends, but we're talking about... Um, you know, a big gang of yeah, adults. Absolutely. It was yeah. so hard to, yeah, it is, yeah. you know, they can't to come. be everywhere, yeah. Richard. But and and with Nicole, the type of person she was, um, she used to. I told her she didn't suffer from from anxiety yeah. or anything. But what was happening then? She, you know, she'd go up and get ready in her room. She getting ready to go out, and she'd have her makeup on, and uh, or you know, she'd be dressed, she'd be stunned and absolutely stunned and going out. But then I would hear her thrown up in the bathroom with nerves at the top yeah. going out and I used to say to her, Cole, would you not um, just stay in with me? Because I knew she'd be, she'd be yeah. safe at home, yeah. you know? And she always said, no, ma'am, um, why should I have to stay in? I should be able to go out and have a few drinks. But she'd go always go out with that 
fake yeah, smile yeah. on her face, yeah. you know, that Bravado, fake. She um, to, yeah, she said, and she always said, I'm not going in and at what women. point into this did she make you aware of it? Oh, from the start. Okay, so yeah. she's had a very, I could, mm. I could see that from mm. following you, mm. you were very close, oh, she was your she best was, pal, oh, I could see that. Said, yeah. So, yeah, okay, so you... Yeah. That must have been so hard for you then, as a mother now, and she's gone out to deal with that. Yeah, and hard not she's to an go adult. Out after them, yeah, as well. yeah. yeah. And and the the, the thing is, yeah. the ones that gathered her, gathered around to hurt her. I I, we knew them. Yeah, yeah. The and you know we knew their family. That the, knew their family. The the boy who um I'll, I'll tell you that in a bit. Her so called friend, um I was friends with his family and and the, the reason um. It actually started off with two girls, and one of the girls had since moved to England because um, her mum had disowned her um, for what um, she did on I was going to say, were their families even No, acknowledging Well, they're talking star. to her now. Only that person, that, that mum, and she actually um, got her daughter to send all the threats, all the messages. Um, they used to send her a video of a noose on how to hang yourself oh every day. Oh, my God, um, And her mum asked the girl, why? <coughs> why? Did you do this? And they said because they were jealous, and that's what it was—jealousy. Um, and they weren't happy with the the physical abuse, and they went online because Nicole would still go down with that smile on her yeah, face and bumpy. thinking like, like that was really you're annoying them. Yeah, and you're yeah. not getting to me. Um, so they they went online and they made um a WhatsApp uh, group, and they all joined in and they they shared they actually shared a video of um some random girl where her face blurred out and this random girl was with three men and they shared that around saying it was Nicole. Um, they sent her all, like every day and although Nicole not once did she ever respond because that's what he wanted. They, yeah, they, they yeah, jumped yeah. on her um, <coughs> and she never responded to them but uh, they'd always, every day, you know, with Snapchat, something might last yeah. for 10 seconds or whatever, they'd say every day they'd say um, go and hang yourself and slit your wrist, you know, everyone hates you, why are you still <coughs> here? And yeah, every day they'd send her the video of a noose. And at the, any of that point, had you gone to the guards or had Nicole spoke to the guards? or? Yeah, like um, for the, the physical abuse, we went to the guards and um, Nicole stood right in front of the guard and because she was 18, she would have happened to make yeah, the statement, yeah. not me. And she just turned around to me and she said, Mum, I can't make this statement because <coughs> look what they're doing to me now. And she said, imagine the guards going to their house. Now, they're, they're not kids, remember? Yeah, they're adults. Yeah. Imagine the guards going to their house. She said, ma'am, they'll kill me. She knew they'd get, they'd, they'd get her. Uh, but and they killed her anyway. Right. Yeah, they killed her right. anyway, you know. They were eating away but her at her um, every day anyway. It's, it's, you know, the physical abuse was, was so hard on her. Yeah. Um, it was the mental abuse that got her. It was just getting deeper and deeper. And... As I said, she was so funny and bubbly yeah. and outgoing, but then she'd start to sit in her room yeah, all the time, yeah, yeah, and she'd fall asleep a lot, and every single night she'd um, cry herself to sleep. I'd hear her crying herself to sleep, and uh, she'd wake up feeling just as crap. and Depression. Yeah, yeah, do you know, it was really kicking in, and we used to, I used to get her out, uh, you know, bring her shopping or to Livy yeah. Valley or um, she loved McDonald's she would eat McDonald's mm. every single day in my letter <laughs> and I used to get a text from her in the room and I knew when she was looking for something she'd call me Jackers yeah and she'd text me and she'd go yup Jackers oh. are we going to Mackers <laughs> you know and I'd say no <laughs> you, yeah. you can't keep eating that crap but you know I but 10-15 minutes later we'd be sitting in yeah sitting in McDonald's with her you know but um it was the mental abuse that just uh, I another time um, two t- two separate occasions I walked into her room and it was a warm evening because she had pajama shorts on her and she had got her nails and she had started to dig them so yeah. deep into her skin and then another step time you know into her belly until you know she was digging them into her yeah. face and um, another time I went into her room and she was sitting on the bed and she just had this blank look on her face if you like and she goes ma'am I can't do this anymore and the only reason why I can't uh, why I can't go is um, I don't want to leave you heartbroken and that's the type of person Cole was because she wasn't thinking of herself she knew if she went um, what would do to how 
devastated there uh, and she held on like for you How know bad must that poor girl have been oh. feeling to even consider that and then yeah. to even let you know that she yeah. was considering yeah. that and you were her only yeah. reason to say oh, yeah like, the only, and she did take an overdose in 2015 and oh. um, i never went far from the house because my concerns with her was yeah. you know and um, i'd always ring her for something silly we she she has a, a boxer dog Bruce who I have now and yeah. um, I'd ring her for silly things you know did you let Bruce out I didn't care just yeah. once she answered the phone and then one one evening uh, she didn't answer the phone and I I knew I rang her again I just I knew something was up because she'd always answer her phone and when I got back to the house yeah she had taken an overdose and I rushed her to Tala Hospital and I remember the doctor in Tala Hospital saying to her um, do you regret it yeah. and she said yeah and he said, well, that's good. Yeah. And he said, and she said, no, I regret it didn't work. And I'm at that the, point, what was she, 18? Um, she would have been 19, yeah, probably, yeah, around that, around that time. Oh um, and then, and, and even t t to make it worse, when after she took the overdose, um, or when we, she was in hospital for four days, and when she came out, she was sent to CAMS. And she sat in front of the main guy in Cairns and um, she cried and cried. She told him everything what was happening. She told him all about everything what was going on in her head. And he actually turned around and said, Shakol, it's just a phase you're going through. It's all part of life. Of course. Do you know, it's heard that so many times. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it absolutely. Didn't bring her back there. So, you know, myself and, um, uh, you know, the boys, we just trying to build her yeah. up ourselves. And that's another element to this. There's not enough support absolutely for no. No. adolescents with no. the kids in general yeah um or mental health support no. in general for kids and adults no. in ireland no yeah. there's not no. and that attitude yeah. back oh, sorry. Sorry, look. to they, a, a, a young person that's yeah. been relentlessly bullied yeah. to the point that she yeah. overdoses yeah yeah and um, you know and 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 being in that desperate situation yeah. to be turned around and and act as if you're you're just a drama queen you're yeah, a spoiled exactly. brat yeah. you know it's a Phase you're yeah. going through is all part and of life. You don't get on with it. Go that. Yeah. yeah, and, and I'm just been her talk. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know. and that 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 crushed her as well. But um, at that time, yeah, we were just kept bringing her out. I didn't I didn't leave her for a minute, you know, and I didn't care. I probably she was yeah. in McDonald's all the time, you know. I didn't care. Yeah, you just um, her here. But I, I, I had lost my little girl at that time, but hadn't got a clue what was about to happen either. Yeah, you know, and did something specific trigger her decision that day that's the million dollar question i can only as in had she gotten a text or had something yeah happened that well um do you know what um the 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 christmas before um she died i didn't know that was going to be her last christmas yeah. and it looked like she was having a great she she loved christmas she loved the family all together and she yeah. would always take the photographs and stuff but that particular um christmas day she took individual photographs of her and her nan her and her granddad, she, she yeah. idolised her granddad, and her of each of the cousins, aunties, and, and one of me and Cole. So you think she was probably planning or I, she had an her Well, pr yeah, I think, I don't know if she had a particular date or, yeah. or, or day, but um, actually, she that was the happiest she, she'd been as well, and I've often heard that day, that, that, that day yeah. you know, it's yeah. like, a big yeah. release from them yeah. but she actually yeah and she she started to go out with my niece Gemma and her friends and she went out twice and no one followed her and no one beat her up no one yeah. hurt her no one burned her and um she was getting on the 17th of January she was preparing to go out for the Saturday the 17th of January was the Wednesday yeah and she was getting ready to go out on the Saturday and instead of me trying to drag her out of her room come on we go here she actually came to me and says ma'am do you want to go shopping and we get a dress and so she was it, it might sound space. something to yeah. slight to, to, to other people, but yeah. to me, for her to come yeah. to me and go, I'm like, yeah, okay. couldn't wait. Let's she go. went out and she bought this beautiful little um, red dress, and that red dress is now still in my wardrobe with the tags yeah. still on them because she never got to wear wear that dress. And she had her eyebrows booked for the Friday, but the that that day when we went home um, on the 18th. Um, I had brought my son to work and went on around to collect my 14 year old son Lee from school. He was standing beside me and when I opened the door, right in front of us was um, the stepladder 
and um, and Bruce's lead. She had got the dog's lead, and uh, yeah, she was hanging from from the banisters in in the hallway, you know. And um, I don't. I knew what was going through her head. I knew how how low she felt. I knew what these people were doing to her, like to to stand there and and see your baby, your 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 my only little girl, and. Um, you know, on the banisters, I, I, I didn't even scream or roar. It was like a howl. I don't, I, I couldn't even describe what it yeah. was. And Lee ran halfway up the stairs, and I put my arms around Cole's leg to try and lift her up to get some of the weight off her her neck. And Lee unhooked the dog's yeah. lead and <laughs> rang the ambulance and put them on loudspeaker. And they were saying about doing CPR, but she was alive. Okay. She was alive, and she was still warm. She was still breathing, and I was begging her just. Begging her to not to up. leave me, yeah, I don't li- don't like please, you know, don't go. And when she uh they brought her to, uh, on the way to the hospital, um myself and they were in the in the guard car behind and they took uh the, the ambulance took a, a right and we went straight and I was yeah. saying, Why why aren't you behind the ambulance? And they said it's okay, we'll get there first and I hadn't a clue what what they meant, like yeah. what was going on. And uh, on the way to the hospital, Nicole took a, a massive heart attack oh and goodness. and died in 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 the ambulance. But I always say that strong girl that said, "No, ma'am, I'm not going to let them win." And yeah. no, ma'am, you know, I'm going to stay here because I don't want to leave your heart broke. That 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 my little girl that still got up and and went out and you know where uh, the the ambulance crew got her heartbeat back again and. Yeah. But when we went to the hospital, uh, these people that, that made that fake profile page saying they were going to put her on life support machine, um, they got their wish because Cole was put on life support. And yeah, the, uh, the, on one of the days I went up to Cole, I was <laughs> right at her face and I was, you know, I was rubbing her cheek and I was kissing her and I was rubbing her hair. And all I said to her was, Cole, if you just open your eyes for five seconds, just five seconds, and just go, yup, jackers, you know, <laughs> are we going to Mackers, you know, willing or just to, but yeah. um, the doctor did call us in, and uh, myself and the boys, and said that, um, that she did have uh, extensive brain damage, and that her organs were going to start to shut down, and stuff, so, uh, I, even though I heard his words, I, yeah. I still yeah, thought she was coming yeah, home, yeah. 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 I thought she was coming home with me, I really did. And, you know, so our friends and my family were coming up, not to not to visit her, but they were saying goodbye, you know. But I was still thinking, she's still coming. Yeah. No, not even hope, I hope she's coming. No, I just... I, you talked to her. Yeah, I just thought yeah, yeah. I just thought she was going to come home. Jackie, I have to ask you, at that point, when, when you left the hospital that day, how hard was it for you not to... Absolutely annihilate them people because I. <sighs> well, at that at that stage when I didn't even know what was going on, yeah. do you know, in my head it's it's like, oh, how do you describe? It? It's like you're you're looking in at something else. Yeah. It's not it's not happening. Do you know, yeah. it's like it's it's you're looking in on something. You just. So like you're you're, you're looking it. down and yeah, watching this. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You you don't. I not that you don't. People probably do. I didn't understand that. At that time, that I was never, ever, ever, ever going to see her again. No. Do you know, yeah. it, it just, yeah. it just didn't That's comprehend in my head. After. Oh, for do you know, for a whole year or more, maybe, um, you're guided along by people. Do you know, what I mean, yeah. you're in a daze. Nothing is real. You don't have a clue what's going on, and it's only after the the, the first year or into it that the reality kicks in. Then, yeah. and then you realise, like. She's not coming back, you know, and it's that thing of, of, you know, the missing or did, I wanted so much to, to hug her, I, I'd have done anything for her to walk in the door, screaming at the top of her voice, singing Chris Brown and yeah. in the horrendous voice that she yeah. had, you know, and it's just not being able to, to even smell her skin or yeah, hold her, yeah. touch her hair or, it's just, you know, it's, it's, 
it's it's, it's just a living so, nightmare that yeah, you're oh, in. that you'll yeah, never come out like sense. it's not you know it's not going to change it's never going to change for me do you know how much I miss her and yeah you know every second of the day like she's she's my little girl do you know yeah. she's not a story or you know that everyone was reading in the papers and stuff and yeah. that she, she she's my daughter do you know but and we're she, looking at you in the papers yeah. now and mm. you're like like you had two choices then. Yeah. You mm. you like mm. we spoke earlier, like mm. you wanted to go after Nicole. Yeah. And as a mother and as a mother, like we yeah. completely get that. Yeah. Um like mm. you wanted to go. Yeah. And you mm. hung on for your boys at the time and Well not or really. Did you? No, not really because and although I love my boys and this is gonna probably sound and bad and you're probably thinking how is she even saying this? I slept in Cold room when she died, and uh, um, she had her two pack poster and the wall, and and the house coat, and um, that that and um, they found the coal in. I sleep with that even now. Every single night I yeah. sleep with that, and uh, did, I just needed to. I needed Nicole, even if I could just see her, and then she and send me back. You yeah. know, I would have yeah. been. Um, but I needed to see her, and my boys didn't come into it. Yeah. My family didn't come into it. I didn't think of of them. I just wanted to see Nicole, and um, I got a phone call. Uh, I don't yeah. know if I said on this or will I say on that? Totally up to you. But it's I don't story. know if you want to put it in. And um, I actually got a phone call while I was going to to go with Nicole that night, and it was from a cousin of mine. Um, and she's very spiritual. I know that. Um, but she rang me, and I hadn't heard from Elaine in probably two and a half years, three more even probably. And she rang me and she said, um, Jackie, whatever you're planning on doing, I'm thinking of doing, stop it now. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. And, and she said, no, you are. And I was like, oh, like, uh, how'd you know that? But my, my, my cousin had, there's a difference between a dream and like a visit where yeah. something is so, so, so real. And this is going to sound crazy. And, and Nicole, in the dream, or visit, if you like, Nicole was in the sitting room, don't know what sitting room, and the telly was on, there was no lights on, but was, the telly was on, and Codaline was playing on the telly, Follow Your Fire. But Nicole was looking at someone behind the door, and Elaine couldn't see who she was looking at, but what Nicole said, um, no ma'am, we don't want you up here now, you've too much work to do. And I didn't understand that, I didn't know what, to, but it did stop me. Yeah. And yeah. the next day, um, actually I did. You needed I, that. Yeah, it, it was, and it stopped me. And the next day, actually, Lee was in the car with me. And you know, teen, the teenagers like are, are always starving. And he said, uh, ma'am, can we go into the garage and get a roll? And um, I wouldn't turn on the telly. I couldn't listen to music in case one of the cold songs came on yeah, or whatever yeah. and, and, and and even to this day I still don't I listen to stupid Pat Kenny or, yeah, or yeah. you know Ryan Tubby I don't I don't listen to music I, I, I just can't yeah. but when Lee went in I just turned the radio on and the chorus was singing Follow Your Fire and I never even heard of Cold Line Follow Your Fire I heard Cold Line but I didn't know that song but um, so whether people believe it or not, or there yeah, were signs there. Yeah, it kept Nicole me, it, was giving you a yeah, message. Yeah, and and it did work. You know, it kept absolutely, me absolutely because you me. now, your choices have led you. Yeah. To. to yeah. I think you're mm-hmm. just a national it. hero. Yeah. Like honestly, and I know you're up for an award and the is it the micro business award? Or I, yeah, I won choice. last year and, and I'm up like, again. Yeah, and I got freedom of the county as well. Like <laughs> and well deserved. Yeah. Like but. Do you want to talk about now the work you've been doing after yeah. uh, mm. Nicole and you couldn't have left, like done more of her memory and she has not left a better legacy than what yeah. you could have with what yeah. the work that you've done yeah. for her um, and for other people. Yeah. When, when, I, when I chose to stay, if you like, um, I needed a focus, I needed a plan to stay, I needed something to get me up out of bed yeah. or... or you know, I, I would either never get up out of bed or go with cold. So yeah. I, I said I needed to do something. and um, more. Yeah, and then just randomly I said, um, I'm going to bring in the law. I had no fucking clue. And this is only a few weeks after cold died as yeah. well. So I wasn't even in my right mind yeah. anyway. But um, I said I needed to bring in the law. Didn't have a clue how or or is it even possible or anything and um, I started getting meetings in 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 the doll and they weren't taking me serious they said no that's not going to happen and you know that actually pissed me off more you know you're telling me I, I'm trying to stay I'm trying to 
not yeah. go with Nagonia telling me no. So that made me work harder. But the, at the start, they, the politicians weren't great. And it was only when I got on social media. And social media can be great if it's used yeah. properly, but yeah. it has so, its dark side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I put, I hate saying story, I don't know what other word, because Nicole's more than a story, but I put that out on social media. Yeah. And the Irish people were absolutely incredible. And the amount of messages that I was getting saying, well, my son is going through this, or my daughter, my yeah. auntie, my uncle, my cousin, do you know, the amount of... Um, and Jackie, then we're, 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 in, it. we're in Ballymun here now, and only three weeks ago, the whole yeah. town was absolutely devastated. A 13 year old boy took his life mm. down to bullying. Yeah. His poor mother had mm. been to the school countless times. Mm. Mm. Nothing was done about mm. it and she's now in your situation, yeah. you know, and, yeah, and, they, and they know the bullies, you know. And, and that makes People have come mm. to me and said to me, uh, well now you have to think about how that bully is going to mm. fail for the rest of his life. Mm. I couldn't give a flying no. No. rat's ass no. how that bully fails no, because you just hope they get look the worst karma. Now, yeah. look what poor Nicole yeah. had to yeah. endure Enjoy like it's yeah. just saying uh, now forget the bullies mm. like that needs to be sorted mm. so you've this has passed now since February 2021 yeah it, yeah it, w it was um passed in the doll on the 28th of December where um uh her, her name <clears throat> her legacy uh was passed and it's put into the Irish statute books for forever and ever and ever. Like no one can take that, that Long away. After we're and gone. They did try and take 10 days, I'd only 10 days to go for Coco's law to be yeah. passed. And um, they did try and take Coco's name out of it. And um, I, I went in and I had a meeting and um, I, I knew I, had to, I only had 10 days to turn it around. Yeah. And by Jesus, I did. I turned her around, God, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they put it back in. So on the twenty eighth of December, yeah, it was in. It was called Coco's Law and in the Irish statute books, and she has her own little memorandum in the in uh, in uh, Coco's Law as well. Yeah. You know, in memory like, of her. I just saw an awe then, of you that year, because mm. uh, like I just can't believe like that you did what you did after that. Like I just yeah. think you're fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. honestly. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. honestly, mm -hmm. but we had a few exchanges over messages and you explained more to me about Cocos and I was like, oh God, I, I did message girls. I was like, I actually didn't realise that. So can you explain exactly what Cocos Law is so people no, know I'll and give we can in, get that message in, in the In the short version, okay, so Cocos Law, right, it, it, what I wanted to bring in was to make online bullying a criminal offence because um, before that, there was nowhere to turn for, like, it wasn't illegal for someone to annihilate and torture it no. online, you know. It's a shock. Yeah. yeah. Like. Um, but now it is a criminal offence. And, and that's if, um, you know, relentless, um, making someone feel so distressed and um, making someone feel like they need to self-harm or, or even worse. Um, and and it does, this isn't an adult law. Um, it's from 12 years and up because you can, they can be punished under... The juvenile yeah. um, courts. Yeah. So people think, uh, and I often got that in school, student talks in school. They say, "Well, I'm only, I'm only fifteen. I, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. If you're from twelve up, you will be punished if you, if you, if you annihilate anyone like that. So, um, so yeah, that's the 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 bullying part. They can be prosecuted. Um, the guards are fantastic. Yeah. I have to say, I thought they would just go. Oh, it's so much work to yeah. do, or whatever. No, no. So if you go into a guard station, mm. you just say, "I want this investigated under Coco's law." And you know, that's exactly what you have to say. You have if to you say go, that. Yeah, because if you go in and and just give them all these messages and all these threats and whatever, and you make a statement, that's all you're doing. You're, yeah. you're not requesting anything, and that'll just go on the computer or, or in a drawer. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have to go in. And say I want this investigated, so then they have to investigate it because yeah. you're requesting. Yeah, and they have to under then come back to you. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be follow up on. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. So yeah. it is important yeah. again to say yeah. if you know anybody going through this or mm. you're going through it, you have to say to the guardie, I want this investigated under Coco's law. So uh, it's really important. And I, I also, although it didn't um, relate to Nicole. Um, intimate images, um, the sharing of intimate yeah. images was put into Coco's yeah. law as well, which is huge uh, it, that, it's yeah. so serious and so damaging on people and um, so 
with the intimate images um, you can share or even threaten to share um, an image of, of anyone online or offline yeah. with or without their permission. Yeah. Under no circumstances. Yeah, because that happens an awful lot. Yeah. Oh, so much. I think it was yeah. highlighted so recently in England with the Stephen Bear case um, with his ex-partner. Yeah. Mm. Um, but all of this sounds like it should make sense. And mm. obviously you shouldn't do these things mm. and there yeah. should be repercussions yeah. if you do. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately... Yeah. And mammies shouldn't have yeah. to be fighting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lot and especially to say, you yeah. can't bully yeah. somebody yeah. to death. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that blackmail as well, like, you know, if you don't do this, or, or yeah. I'm going to put that all, all over. And the damaging effects even of that threat. Yeah. So now you can't even threaten to put something yeah. like that online. I know, I don't know what the, the figures are now, but up to, a, a, a few months ago there was uh, 105 people up for prosecution and so many under investigations. And right now, as you see here, right now, there's people in prison under Coco's Law because of... Uh, Good. Because of Coco's Law, yeah. Good. So, um, and um, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger now. Can you imagine it. how proud Nicole would yeah. be? I know, you know? absolutely, yeah. She'd, She'd be like, like yup, Jack. And she'd be like, yup, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I know, though. she. I know she would, but... You'd give it, it all up to have uh, it here. Yeah, absolutely. It a billion fit. Do you know, it's, when, when, when Coco's Law was passed, um, it's that huge, huge, bittersweet moment. I had to lose Nicole for other people yeah. to gain, and that's not fair. You know, I shouldn't have to lose her for and other people to gain. And the reality is, if Nicole was here and you were going in looking for a law like this, people probably wouldn't pay it enough attention. No, no, no because no. Absolutely she, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. had to have lost her life for yeah. it to be taken as serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. And that's obviously mm. very, very mm. wrong. Mm. Um, and it was that huge, bittersweet moment, because I... I don't have Nicole, and, and even when Coco's Law was passed, um, everyone was saying to me, because of all the campaign that I was doing, you're going to hit this brick wall, you're going yeah. to hit. I wasn't listening, you know, I, I, yeah, I knew totally I just... Isn't. You had a focus. That's and it. when Coco's Law was passed, um, I did hit that brick wall, and my, my immune system just went completely. The doctors wanted to take me into hospital. I stopped eating completely, as long as I could, and didn't get out of bed pushed everyone out and because everyone was going everyone was saying to me, Oh you oh you must be so happy. Yeah. No, that this lot you'll like never be happy like, see, without yeah, your heart, how, like, how yeah. can you or and even they're saying like you must be so proud of yourself. I have a big problem with, with that word. Yeah. Because I shouldn't be so proud no, of myself. Because if the law had been in and um, Nicole we wouldn't be here. Yeah. yeah, you know she still could be here. So, but even that with cards and stuff, it, it is important. Down. Like it's a massive letdown. Mm -hmm. She never should have sat across the table from someone that's in the position they're yeah. in to be more yeah. or less told. You know, it's just a phase you're going yeah, through. Yeah, you know, yeah. you spoil little little yeah, 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 like, queen. Yeah, yeah you know, you know like, like, Jackie, where? Where are Nicole's bullies ever brought to justice? No, and they never will because, um, because there was no law. <laughs> The guards came to me that is um, and I said, look, I have I have this and that and I showed them everything on the phone and showed Shocking. them everything and they said, Jackie, they did nothing wrong. Now, it wasn't the guards being yeah. um, bad or anything. So they, they were, were right. Within yeah. the limitations yeah. of the yeah, law, they, did, they had they did nothing, 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 nothing wrong. Well, yeah. So there was no legislation. So um, when Nicole's um, law, or when Goku's law, sorry, was officially passed on, on the night of... Um, February 21 and um, it only started from then right on up so no they never they and never have any of them ever reached out to you have yes. any of them ever yeah apologized no. or acknowledge or no. only reach out to say like fuck you they or, reached out to say um because they didn't know if they were going to be prosecuted or not and sorry I I have a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they reached out and and uh, they said to me because they didn't know whether they were going to be prosecuted or not they were starting to get scared Do you know they were saying oh god can we go to jail or whatever like whatever with this and they started to threaten me and then they said oh they were god. going to put petrol bombs in my letterbox if, they, if i continued with this and all and I just said, don't just throw in the letterbox, like knock on my door, ring on the bell, and I'll yeah. answer it. Nothing, nothing that they could have done could have hurt me any more than what I was feeling. Yeah, then. exactly. They've already they they, 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 they've the worst taken, taken, yeah. Um, yeah, and so shame nothing. on every single yeah. one of them, whether mm. they want to acknowledge it 
or not acknowledge it, shame on every one of them. And mm-hmm. I hope it haunts mm-hmm. every one of them. It will, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why as well. When I left um, Clodoggan, um, I made sure probably nearly all <laughs> Clodoggan knew who they were. Did you get but support in Clodoggan? Did you get support from your neighbours, your community, or in with this? Like, did people come together for you and Nicole? After. After. Like um, did mm, no. I can't. No, I'm not through their fault. And um, when um, Nicole died, I didn't want to see. I'm still living up there, and I didn't want to see anyone. I myself and the boys kind of stayed in the house all the time because Lee and Dean wanted to kill them, and and I I knew it was like if I t- if I needed bread or milk or anything like that, I'd go, hop in the car and go to tell her to get it. Because I knew if I seen any of them in the shop, I knew if I seen one of them walk down the road, um, would I accelerate in the car? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So would I. Um, it's, and then I had my boys to think of as well and stuff and all. Um, I had a mortgage, so when the mortgage was um, paid, um, we ended up moving to Court Town where we had, you know, so much, so much um, fun memories. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you live in Cartown now, don't you? Yeah. I lived I, down there for a year. My yeah. baby, Alice, that I spoke about earlier yeah. on, she's actually buried in the cemetery at River Chapel Church. Oh, that was where I was talking about. Oh, minutes, yeah. minutes, yeah. Yeah, I lived there for a year. Um, yeah. Oh, it, and yeah. I, I'm glad that you're there because it is, yeah. it's a, yeah. a lovely place to kind of be, to yeah. recalibrate. And yeah. although I only go down once a year now to visit well, her grave, to, it's I, lovely I, I'll, I'll to pop be there. I'll pop into her. I'll pop into yeah, her. If nice. you don't mind. No, yeah, absolutely. I'd yeah, love that. But we had, like, that was there. Our, our, our fun place, you know, hours on the beach, crab fishing, and then yeah. jump off the pier, and so. Um, Sandigans were off, yeah. I'm sure she got uh, a fortune yeah. in there. <laughs> I know, but they, they loved it, you know, and. But uh, moving down there, do you know, it was never going to be a happy ever after home, no. you know, because Cole's not there, but I was able to go out to the front garden. Yeah. I didn't leave the front garden for, for a good while. Um, and then I eventually made it to the shop around in, uh, around the corner from us yeah. and, and stuff. But it, it's, it was so much better for myself and the boys' head getting out of And not having to see Because they all people. lived. They all yeah. lived around. I couldn't cope So it's like that anything really. now that happens for you is bittersweet. Oh, Ali yeah, moved forward. Uh, yeah. How are the boys now? <clears throat> they're, 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 doing, they're doing good. Um, with Lee, when Nicole, obviously Lee, he was found Cole, yeah. you know, it's not... You know, it, it'll never be erased from her, from her heads. You know yeah. that every detail. How you know, old was he when? Fourteen. When yeah, fourteen. Yeah. And then when Cole was in um, intensive care, um, Lee walked in and he he collapsed and he was brought. So I had Cole there and he, yeah. Dean and Lee were brought to a different part of the hospital. He was sedated and, but luckily enough, there was a um, a psychiatrist uh, there came down to see him, and uh, he spent. Two and a half years with her, and okay. very open, and um, but the thing is, uh, you know, when we be down the corner, Lee'd go down and play football with his friends, and then just leave. He, he felt guilty, and and same with me. Yeah. Um, I don't go to family events, um, after called out because she would always come with me, you know, and yeah. never went to communions, christenings, whatever. But I did go to my niece's, um wedding there just in May, gone yeah. fourth time in, in five years and three months or whatever to, to actually go to a family f- event and I hated it. Yeah. I, I cried and cried, not in front of everyone, yeah. in the room, I just cried and cried because, uh, and I lost my dad, um, Nicole's favourite person in the world, um, two weeks before Christmas just gone yeah. as well and I knew at the wedding those two, the two of them would be up dancing yeah. and, and stuff. Now it's just, it's just too hard. It really have is. You, it's too hard. Have you ever seen a medium, or would you consider? No, I I did see one medium, but um, be, this is gonna sound big headed, and I'm not a big headed person because everything was all over Facebook and yeah, yeah. She knew every yeah. story, yeah. and she played on that big time. Right. But when I was leaving, and when I paid her, she says I knew all that from from. <gasps> she actually said that. To yeah. You? And I was so disgusted. But in say that, I don't need a medium. Honest God. No. I have a black book at home where I write um, down the things that 
the wow, the wow things that you go yeah. hell. Yeah. So I don't, and and I don't keep it in my in my head because I've I always have too much pressure in my head yeah. from losing coal anyway. And um, so I write it in in the back yeah. black book. Yeah. So back I know. God, oh, not God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. No, I know. Nicole <coughs> is 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 happy. And do you know yeah. what the thing is? She loved all events like you know Paddy's Day and stuff. And I used to, and and Halloween. She'd still dress up even at the age of twenty one. Like she yeah. dress up, and, and I I used to hate her going out on Paddy's Day and Halloween and yeah. all, and everyone drunk. And I like every time she went out, she she'd get hurt. But um. I would. I wanted her to stay in, but now, um, you know, Paddy say will come along, and I'm a bit more content with that because I I always say to her like, no one can hurt you, yeah. no one, That's no it. one can no. touch her now. So um, and I she always is that gives me the rich, like, oh, do you know, I, uh, I feel I, my brother with me yeah, all the time, and yeah. people probably think I'm mad, but I it doesn't do. matter. I've it, seen it things is, in that it happened in my house that yeah, cannot be explained no, yeah. any other way. And they will always, and, it's that comfort, um, and yeah. even the energy, like like. I, I sometimes just feel my hair lifting and, yeah. and it's like cobwebs all over I my face. I felt hugs and, and everything yeah, like and, when and you need it. Yeah, like. I, when, when Cole died I always put my hand on, on I, I always slept in my belly but and I'd have my hand out like that and I'd be talking to her and it's going to sound crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I <laughs> um, My hand wouldn't leave the pillow but it was like it was going like that and it was like I wasn't touching anything. Yeah. But even though I knew my hand yeah. was, hadn't left the pillow, and it was just like, and then you'd get all that energy up all yeah. around you and stuff yeah. and all, and it's like, wow, like, yeah. And and it does give you great comfort, but the biggest comfort to me, well, the only comfort that I have is, uh, like I said, no, no one can hurt her. They no, can't. No they can cannot touch her anymore. They can't. They no, can't hurt her. So they can't. And <laughs> yeah. there will come a day when all of it it will stop. Hopefully, because because of Coco's law, and mm. I know you um you travel around schools as well, don't yeah. you? And like, mm. and that is so important because it is. Yeah. This the schools. I don't think, I think I, I can't blame the schools. I can to a certain degree, but I don't think the teachers no. nor the head staff are any way qualified to to deal with. Bullying issues. It's so you know, much easier to push to it under the yeah. pushed away yeah. and or, or get or the victim we, we'll deal with move, that. or move yeah. the victim out of school. Like exactly. it's so much easier to move the pack of bullies out of school. Exactly. And I do. I talk in in schools and um, secondary schools, obviously not primary, and um, secondary schools, uh, colleges, U club, U reach, and um, football clubs, parent talks, and um, anything just to 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 get there. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the impact that I do, like when I talk. To, to the kids in school like you could literally hear a pin drop in the place like it does and then I do repeats all the time in yeah. in, in the schools but um and yeah. not only that you've now we've gone into the European Union so <laughs> how did I have that because I'm like when <laughs> I, I saw that I was like <laughs> I don't even know I, I, I <laughs> actually <laughs> had to write that down <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I was like yeah. so you flew out on the 8th of May yeah. Uh, t- and you had a number of meetings with the head of the European Parliament members to have Coco's Law introduced No, the 8th of May was, um, Strasbourg was the 1st of May to Brussels. To Brussels, yeah, that, right. And how, how that actually started was weird because um, I just got a phone call from some random person who actually is my friend now and he's lovely and, and he said to me, would you make a video for for um, Europe? And I thought, who's this fella? Like, cause yeah. We're campaigning on anything you're putting yourself there on social media and you get to be so many yeah, weirdos. weirdos that that come back yeah. and you go like oh my god and um, but he said make it would you make a video and and i said well okay and i wasn't i was kind of him and on but he came over him and his friend and they made they, they spent a week in wexford and um, and we made a video and he sent that video back to brussels and they um contacted me they they rang me and they they asked me to come over um, and do a talk in the European Parliament and I'm going oh my god like I should be at home knitting at this stage <laughs> you know not, not 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 doing all this you know and so I said yeah okay and when I went over in the Brussels one um, they said uh, with 
Oh, I, I stood in front of the European Parliament. I was talking to European leaders, and there was from twenty seven different countries going around, you know, and translating it into their language yeah. from twenty seven countries cool. and stuff amazing. and all as well. And I'm standing there, and you know, the place is full, and I'm doing the talk and stuff and all. And and then um, they said uh, about coming back in June to Strasbourg, and I was going. Um, yeah okay whatever but I, I didn't even unpack my bag um, from Brussels and they said no can you come over on Monday and I thought they meant um, oh, the, the, the 8th yeah. yeah and I thought they meant the 8th June they go no this Monday yeah. so I did I, I, I went back over and uh, they they the reason why they wanted me back over early is because they wanted to put Cobra on the agenda yeah. and so prioritise it, it so yeah, yeah and they, they are taking it it's definitely, definitely going to be a law, a law, not Cocosa, but a Cocosa, if, yeah. if you like, um, all over, all over Europe. Yeah. 27 countries. Yeah. Good woman. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm you not stopped from Ireland. No. I know you don't like when people are saying you should be so proud, but yeah, I'm I saying to you, true. I know, as a yeah. mother, mm. I'm proud. I'm proud. You? I, and you know what, like, I'm trying to learn that. There's this guy, um, Gary Cunningham, he's my bestest best Yeah, I've seen him. Do yeah, and he does, page. he would do talks, talks with me you, as yeah. well. But he wrote a book, he's an author of four books, and at the moment they're actually making a, a film out of it um, that's going to be on Netflix and yeah. all over America and stuff and all. But um, when Coco's Law passed, it's, it's only then when you, you know, everyone moves away from you, you know, and you're, and you're left. And uh, Gary seen that, and he's the one that actually got me to eat again, yeah. to get me out of bed again, got me to, 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 he taught me, he's the one that taught me that it's okay, um, <laughs> that it's okay to, to, to laugh and smile again, yeah. while missing the call yeah. at the same time, yeah. you know, he's been, he's my rock, he's my, yeah. my hero, and in his in his stories, he's gone through. He lost a daughter, not by suicide, but you know, it's still the same. Yeah, the the yeah. loss at the end of the day, and um, you know, totally abused by his dad, and um, beaten, getting beaten up by him all the time. And so he has his own story, um, to tell. But what he does when I go into schools, I make them cry, yeah. and he, it, he builds them up. You know, yeah. he has yeah. this book, um, I am enough. And he gives one book away to one student yeah. for every talk as well. And the, the, that book is written by students, you know, um, who are peer pressured, you know, on drink, drugs, wow. bullying, alcohol, whatever. And um, so he he's 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 incredible. He's my hero, and he's uh, he always says I'm his hero. But when you were saying about proud, he has given out to me a number of times yeah. because he said to me, Jackie, when someone tells you you're proud. They, let them be proud. They yeah. want to be proud of you. You know, they're not just saying it. Um, yeah. Like you, you mightn't be able to take it on and and yeah. and, and feel that I'm proud of myself or whatever. Yeah. But he's, he always it like if someone wants to be proud of you, that's how they're feeling. Let them yeah. be proud. So when I hear the word proud, yeah, I won't. I know you're proud oh, yeah, and, yeah. and stuff and all, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle yeah. for me yeah. to be. I know Nicole's proud though, so that's the main thing. Absolutely, as well. you know, she's and you don't feel proud because you see it as your duty. You're just although mm. Nicole is not physically here, mm. you're still gonna look after her on as long as you've got yeah. breath in your body. Oh, definitely. And so. you know, what? I still feel sometimes like that. I have to defend her because yeah, you know, you'll always get some idiot, you know, on social media that say something really cruel. Now, lucky enough, have I, you I, had a lot of that? No, good. And um, ninety ninety five percent was. So positive and Good. so supportive, but you always get yeah, some yeah, people yeah, that, one, that are looking for Karen, attention yeah. or looking for yeah. for 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 stuff like that. I forget what you said. <laughs> you said something. Feel fight for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and I still feel that I have. I I will always defend her, even though yeah. she's not here. Yeah. I'll 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 defend her against anyone. Yeah. Um, because she's you know she is she is still my daughter. She like. She she mattered then and she yeah. she matters now. And she always will. Yeah, yeah and exactly. It, you it's know. amazing how you know when people lose somebody and I think a certain amount of time passes and they feel like they f they feel like they have to stop talking about that person because oh. people will be like, oh, she's still going on, you know. Yeah, and they do. People and you say, never do. Like I mean, no. if. 
just because somebody has passed, it doesn't mean that they were never there. And yeah. No, they I, I continue to be. Their memory is oh, there. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. And people, you know, and not not out bad. And people would say the most silliest things to you, maybe go, because you don't know what to say. I know it's not out bad. It's like they, they, I know one person said, she still at least you still have two. Oh. <laughs> Stop you know, it. like it's not at all. It was yeah. delicious. No, no, it's it was not. It's and they probably thought when they yeah. left her, they probably thought, yeah. 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 yeah, or she's in a better place. No, no, no her better place, place was, was, was with her mum. I hate yeah. that. You know, yeah, just, I especially yeah. hated at funerals, and uh, especially yeah, children's funerals it. because. Yeah. Every bit of me has to hold myself back yeah. from diving on the priest that says that. Yeah. That's not to say yeah. anything about priests, yeah. like it's their profession or whatever. It's a whole other thing. It's very hard I to listen to. I got what they call um, cremated. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's everyone's choice, Jesus, like uh, what they want to do, do, you know. But the reason why I got Nicole cremated was because, <sighs> because we were so close. Yeah. Because she was my best friend and stuff. Um, I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to leave her up in the cold and the dark on her own. Yeah. So I got her cremated so she could come home Same with me and, and she is in my room, you know, and she's on the, on our, our little table and stuff and all beside me, with yeah. me, you know. Um and and even in the cremation, like you know, as I said, the cold loved our, our chicken nuggets, our McDonald's was it and um, you know, one of my friends when when uh, you know, when they're bringing up the gifts and they brought up her earphones because she loved the music and they brought up their glasses and stuff and my friend actually went to McDonald's that morning <laughs> and brought up six chicken nuggets for her. <laughs> <laughs> they said we can't let you go off without your McDonald's. Oh, yeah, so yeah, so that was lovely. So the, the, and then in, in the crematorium we booked it out for an hour and a half. Yeah. All for coal, and I had a big um, a projector on the wall, and while Tupac was playing, her all her photographs oh, are coming wow. up, and, and Chris Brown, and uh, yeah. all her all her the songs. Yeah. yeah, so she was up there, and then everyone got a little pink rose when they walked in the door as well, and you know they went up and put the rose on. Uh, do you know what? This probably sound crazy, but. If if it wasn't Cole's funeral, um, it would have been the best funeral I was ever yeah, at in my life. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, we we really, really went to uh, yeah. everything. Everything was 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 was, was for her. Like, and that's it, like the, also better see because she obviously was so loved. Yeah, she was so loved, the thing, and these you know? people destroyed yeah. Yeah. a part yeah. of her. Yeah, yeah. she obviously felt she yeah. couldn't get back. And she didn't, even and though she knew how loved she yeah. was, yeah. that but element of her life was yeah. just too much. But that's the that's the thing, though. She didn't want to die. Yeah, yeah. and she, she wanted life. to live. Yeah. yeah, she wanted to live. She she, she still got up. Wanted that life. to stop. And it was you, you said this something triggered off. You know, I could go through that a million times in my head. Yeah. But I know. Um, I told you she had a great Christmas, and I was going, yes, everything is touring yeah. around. She had a great Christmas. She she was going out. They weren't touching her. Like, and I thought, I really thought, like, yeah. wow, this is this is all changing. But I know, I know. Um, in the January, then, uh, it started to build up again, and I, 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 you know, I can only imagine her just saying that she can't do it. And do you remember the boy, the best friend, yeah. the boy yes, that she loved, you. um. She she idolised him, yeah. and you know they did everything together, as I said or whatever. Do you remember the metal flight of stairs? Yeah, it was he, him. He pulled her down. That was metal flight of stairs, and I'll tell you why. He actually he met a girl, who was friends with the main people. Right. And she said, if you keep talking to Cole, we're done. We're finished. You stop talking to Cole, and he did. He listened to her, and um, and in the end, he he actually got that girl pregnant, beat her up, and oh, then got gosh. another girl pregnant, beat her. He's a, a, a scumbag. Um, Nicole trusted him. She loved him. They did everything together, and he turned on on her. Yeah. Like and that. and and everything, everything that happened to to to, to Cole was down to jealousy and drama. That's what that's what killed her. I hate. I hate jealousy. I I I I just hate it. It kills. Yeah. It kills yeah, people. Yeah, it does. Um, Took your child. Please. Yeah, and 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 it was and there was nothing. It sounds ridiculous and unnecessary. It was just jealousy and drama. And unfortunately, Coco's law can't get him. Yeah. But Karma will. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, I have to believe that. I do believe it because I know on two of them, Karma has already hit them. Yeah. And, and I I don't care. I'm going yeah, don't bring it on. And yeah. um, you cannot. I, 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 no, you can't, you can't treat people like that and think, think that it's okay and that, and that you're going to live happily ever after, no, do you know what I mean? No, you, you, can't. you can't, karma 
you know, it's not coming around quick enough for me, but yeah. um, it doesn't sound like anything would really phase him. But the girls that were involved, I hope it haunts them. Yeah, absolutely hope it haunts them because mm-hmm. I hope so. Unfortunately, I mean, you'd, if if that was me, if I was one of those girls, I would nearly rather be locked up so that I could feel I don't like I paid my dues yeah. and then mm. come out and make a fresh start. Mm. That's the mm. I would never be able to live with myself knowing mm. that I had actually bullied mm. someone to death. And and even when I do interviews and stuff and that, I always name the specific things, you know, the pull down the hairs, the, yeah. oh, the hairs, the stairs, the born and yeah. her and stuff. And even um she made friends, so called friends, with two other girls, two adults. Um, and they were going out one night and they were up in Nicole's bedroom and Nicole was all dressed and she had a makeup on she was beautiful and they actually said to her, um, will we curl your hair with the wand and Nicole said, yeah, but they were behind giggling like fools. These were, what would have been like 24 or 5 at this stage and um, they were texting and stuff and laughing behind Cole when one of them got uh, got the tongue and had up the heat but they stuck it and held it on her arm and um, obviously she didn't go out with, with them but the reason why I'm saying that is um, these two um, bullies, I hate saying bullies because it's too mild for them um, they had kids of their own oh, one had a boy and one had a girl so these are mothers they're these scumbags. are mothers scumbags dogs, Absolute but, and they're scumbags. the ones that threatened me as well with the, with the with, with, you know, going to beat me up and stuff and all but and they're I'm mothers partly, like, uh, we were talking outside before we came in there's just some people's mindset you can't change. Yeah. There's some people that just excuse their behaviour mm. and they don't give a shit. Yeah. But for the people that have any conscience, like I suppose what we're talking about here is fucking follow your conscience. Mm. Like grab onto that mm. because this is the result. Yeah. Like this is the possible yeah. result of uh, what can yeah. happen. Because yeah. even if it's just one bad word, yeah. you don't know what else is going on mm. there. You don't know how many mm. people are doing this. Or in their case, they knew how many people were doing yeah. this. But it was up like, to it was up to a good twenty five at the like, end. Shocking. Call, yeah. Like shocking. Mm. Like every one of them. Like mm. uh, like uh, there are no words. Like there's no. And, words. and do you know what I hate as well? People say, "Oh, well, they must have been bullied themselves." That's, no, but that's, I, hate that, that, I, I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. And even that if excuse. you were bullied yourself, you should know how you yeah, felt exactly. at that time. Why yeah, I I that. But I know these people, and I know their families. They're not. Yeah. They, 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 they didn't grow up. Um, yeah. Yeah. But regardless of whether they were, they weren't bullied. Yeah. A it's girl still, lost her life. Yeah. Because regardless of whether you were bullied or yeah. not, a girl has taken her life mm. because of what you are doing, mm. and you can bet your arse. Mm. It wasn't just the coal. Yeah. If they had that in them, yeah. they do that. Yeah. That's yeah. the way they operate yeah. Yeah. and the way like their relationships and all are. Mm. And God knows how many people they're affecting, how many people probably want to kill themselves yeah. because they're living mm. with that shit. And how many day. young people have taken their own lives that maybe didn't have as close a relationship yeah. as you did with Nicole that weren't able to tell and their parents <laughs> are maybe still are none the wiser yeah. about oh, why they did it. That's, it's like, that was unknown. Kill me. Yeah. It's, it kill me. Yeah, the unknown, yeah. the unknown answers. Like how many parents have lost kids and are and can't give the reason why. Yeah, They're like I don't know. So many. Yeah. And you know. Yeah. But yeah. and I'm not I I like some people would be angry, you know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not angry with Nicole. And um, because you know I, what she went know, through. I know what you went. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know how, Cole, how she fought to stay alive. Yeah. Well. Exactly. Like she didn't take her own life. They took it from yeah. her. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I, I'd never. I'd never be be angry or annoyed with Nicole. No. Like, <sighs> Nicole, as hard as it is. Um, Nicole made the right decision for her at the time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yeah, because yeah, we've talked about like, suicide before, yeah. and I hate when people say, oh, we're so selfish. It was a, oh, oh that my, just, like, yeah. I have a tattoo here for uh, someone I looked up to when I was younger that killed himself from Ballymun. He jumped off Ballymun Flats. And the same thing right before that, when I remember getting the call, his nephew rang me to tell me, and them saying, like, he was in great form, he was just getting a new phone, he's going to his new number. For me, thinking of that, he obviously had settled in his head. He was happier that yeah. night. He knew mm-hmm. what he was going to do. But I do always say, unless you are in a situation ever where you contemplate yeah. that, yeah. You, I you feel understand. that someone that did that feels they had no choice or 
that was the best choice for them. For them. Whether yeah. we agree with that or understand yeah. it or not. Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone has mm. the right to mm. say that person was selfish. That's yeah, my no. personal opinion on yeah. it. Everybody has yeah. different opinions on it. Yeah. But I personally fucking yeah. hate when people say it's that was such a selfish that, decision. That, because they, they, are, they say that because they, they yeah. actually don't have a clue. Yeah. Which is good. You don't want them to have yeah, a clue. Yeah, you don't. No. You know what I mean? But three and a half years of being tortured oh, like that. Totally. And you know, as I what said, she, choice she would didn't she have she had none. And as I said, she didn't want to die. Unfortunately, she just couldn't find a way to stay. I I remember even after losing Cole, I had no way to turn. Yeah. There was nothing there for for me. Yeah. I, I'm not even going to go into a house and stuff and all like yeah. that or whatever. But um, I actually found this this group called Hug, H U G G, right? And uh, it's it's a a group for bereaved people by suicide only yeah. and the facilitators have to be bereaved by suicides because okay. they get they they they, yeah. they understand yeah and while i was campaigning for coco's law <laughs> i think uh, look i i, I just <laughs> i don't know what's going on in my head i actually trained to be a facilitator for for a hug oh uh, God, i know sure i know it was i just no it's not that, that. i'm it. it was it was I need to keep busy, busy, yeah, busy, because yeah. I didn't want to sit anywhere with my own thoughts, so it, it was another busy thing, yeah. you know, and running myself down to the ground, it was self-harming, I, I know I was self-harming all yeah. the way through yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but I did facilitate and I did the training and stuff, and now um, myself and um, my friend Grace run a, a whole group in Tala, um, in the Mountain Hotel, That's where really there's good. just oh bereaved people bereaved by suicide. But we'll yeah. share the information on that if you don't yeah, want as well. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. really that Laura. Because yeah. I'd never heard of that. Laura and, yeah. never heard and like that, that if it, if I was in that situation I was I would find it really hard to go to one of those groups. Mm. But if I knew that Jackie Fox was there, the yeah. woman who is mm. changing all of this mm. and will prevent it from happening, hopefully to other people mm. because of what you've done, mm. I would go to that group. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know that you know exactly yeah. how I felt. Yeah. Because a lot of that's, these that's groups the thing, yeah. are run by counselors yeah. and psychiatrists that, that, are, that, that, that haven't that lost experience. You yeah. know, and yeah. It, it, so if you do know anyone, it, 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 it like everyone in the group understands exactly yeah. what everyone's going through, including the facilitators. Yeah. Cause, cause and that's so important. That's so and that's important. Um, that's really and, and can I, I? I'm not trying to give a plug here for myself or whatever. Away. <laughs> you don't even have to put up, you know what no, um, I have um, a charity set up, um, uh, Coco's Heart Educating Against Bullying. Brilliant. And the reason why I'm doing that is um, when I do school talks and stuff and all, um, it's my petrol, it's my stay over, it's my... Uh, and yeah. I can't afford it. Yeah. I can't, yeah. I just no. can't afford it. But something like that so, should be funded now. Yeah, well, I'm hoping, I'm now. hoping now, and um, people are doing fundraising yeah. um, for me, like the mini marathons down there, yeah. or whatever. And it's just, um, it's just to help with, for me to continue yeah. doing all these talks. Um, well, we'll absolutely we'll share that. We'll 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 yeah. And we will come up with something to yeah. raise money. Oh, so we're going to come up with something to raise yes. money. Yeah. I have the, the yeah. page on, on Facebook, Coco yeah. Heritage, Kate yeah. Against Bullying. Yeah. So we're going to get the links of everything off, Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. So it's mm. all attached. Mm. And with your permission, a, a video of Nicole because um, I know you have videos of your page and we wouldn't share without your permission mm -hmm. but that's what grabbed me when I first saw that video the, I remember the, the Brussels um, one the, the when it was one you pushed I think she was dancing in her oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. like I, she's a beautiful young girl and like yeah. that's the that's the person behind all of this I'm not gonna say yeah. sorry but yeah. that's the person behind all of this yeah and, um, I think that's what people need to see. They need to see mm -hmm. Nicole yeah. um, and who <laughs> you knew Nicole to yeah. be. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you ask me, Nicole is a hero because she's yeah. obviously, she's given you some strength to yeah. be able yeah. to do what yeah. you've done. And and that's and that's true, Laura, because I would, I wouldn't even get into a school photograph, do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I would have yeah. been the, the, the shyest person you could even yeah. talk to, do you know what I mean? I would have been really quiet and shy and for me to I even... shout at yeah. members of Ireland all <laughs> over <laughs> Europe. But that's what I'm saying, like, and the fights I had with TDs in yeah. the, the Donna, and that's, that, on, I, I, it's honest God, not me, but, yeah. you know, just when you have something and, and, and it's keeping you here and, you, and you, you, it's, you're so passionate to, to bring in the law or to help others and, and, and not, not even for the people that's been bullied and um, but for the families that's left behind yeah. you know it's 
it's it's the family's it's it's that huge ripple effect. Yeah. Like with Nicole dying, it's not only me and the boys. It's a nanny and a granddad and aunties and uncles, yeah. cousins and friends. Like it's yeah. huge, the huge, but yeah. it's you know my life and the boys. Like it, it'll never be the same. You and know, thinking of the boys as well. Like yeah, but they're doing they're doing okay. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's brilliant that they are kind of in such a good place, but. It's just, it's horrific as well for them because mm-hmm. I'd say even without telling you, mm-hmm. every part of them probably would love to go up there and oh, yeah. unleash hell and tell yeah. it. I really, yeah. like, uh, yeah. oh. and I remember I, want, I wanted them dead. I did. I, yeah. I, 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 I wanted them dead. <laughs> I, I was too. walking with this uh, chief super um, detective in in Harcourt Street and he brought me in for a meeting and, and he did great work with me. Do you know when... Um, uh, he helped me with Coco's lot, a lot, yeah. but I remember sitting there with him, and and I said, but I hate them. I I like, and he knew how much yeah. I hated him. And you know how he turned turned it around. He was so clever in what he said. He said, um, if you, uh, oh, do you want to see Nicole when you die? And I went, yeah. I said, oh, I'm counting down. I, I I can't wait to see Nicole. And he said, if you're a part of hurting those people, that that hurt your daughter. Do you think they're going to see Nicole when they die? And I said, no. And he said, well, what makes you any different? If you hurt them or get someone yeah. to hurt them, do you think you're going up to Nicole? That fucked up my head completely yeah. because yeah. I, I went out thinking, oh no, I'm scared that if yeah. I do something, I'm going to see Nicole. But it, it is very clever. It's like, it is, yeah. I would rather And then somebody would want to kill you. Yeah. And yeah. It goes on and yeah. on. And like yeah. I think you've done the... Yeah. Out of a fucking horrendous situation, mm. the most positive. Mm. Yeah, it's not about home. them. It's, it's not absolutely about, not. And and you know, and um, I I never, I don't let them consume me because no. if I let them into my head yeah. and, and it, the hate, it's only yeah. when because you're asking me the question. I, yeah, day by day, I don't let them into my head yeah, yeah. because they took Nicole. They could could have easily taken me as well. Yeah. You know, if I put it. And um, I don't give them. That I don't power. give them the, the time no, or whatever. No, like. no. And then the documentary. Um, yeah, tell us about yeah. the documentary. What's happening? All right. So the documentary <laughs> is uh, a, a filmmaker, um, Jared Walsh, absolutely incredible guy. He said he'll never do another story like this again because I killed him. <laughs> I actually <laughs> broke the poor man, and from the very start to up to now, he's been on on the whole journey with with, with everything. Um, it was supposed to be finishing up. Um, after Coco's law was passed and, and he's been in the schools with me and stuff and all but now with the Brussels thing and um, next week next this Monday I'm I'm going to Croatia um, Good to girl. the European Parliament uh, I'm going this Monday but I'm talking in the European Parliament Croatia on Tuesday then I'm getting picked up and driving an hour and a half and talking to the European Parliament in Slovenia um, I think yeah um, so there's not an ending yet uh, thing. It sounds like a good movie yeah, to me. It's a, well, it's not a it film is. now. It's only no, the, but it sounds. But there like is. I am in. I am there. There. I, I think there should be a movie made. I, do you know is what? what I mean? I I I can. There's two that want it. Um, I'd consider you it. just need to really make yeah. sure it's right. I would it's consider it. I yeah, know it'd yeah, be tough for you, but if mm. you look at. All teenagers do is watch Netflix. Yeah. True. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And teenagers yeah. Yeah. need to know what mm. that girl went through. And they're mm. so quick to, mm. you know, send a nasty text on Snapchat mm. or whatever. Mm. And I mean, mm. my eight year old has been bullied to yeah. the point he's been dragged to the ground on force fed grass. He's been jocked in front of his friends. He's like, he, he hates himself. He oh, absolutely hates amazing. himself. And we're at the point now as well of either we're considering do we remove him from the school or do we like rather than him feeling like he's being punished do we just get onto the board of education because we're not getting anywhere with the school you know and i at the start would have liked to think that oh well this poor child is bullying and maybe he's having a hard time at home no don't but go into that i haven't spoke to the child's yeah. parents yeah he's He's not. Yeah. He's not having any And the, the parents, the parents are lovely. Or the yeah. parents are so nice. The and only like, thing that let that, us know, that yeah. I have suggested to to other people is um, get a guard out to him. 
and frighten the living daylights yeah. out. Hopefully, it, yeah. it'll yeah, frighten the, the, the living yeah. daylights out. Because at eight years yeah. old. What? Like, if he's doing that now. Yeah, what you can yeah. only imagine. Do you know, yeah. he's, he has it in him to hurt right. people, yeah. do you know? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I, I, do you know, I hate it. And, and since I brought the lie out as well, <laughs> it's not... This is what I signed up for, actually. But I get so many messages, so many messages, heartbreaking messages, and all, um, which I answer everyone, yeah. um, because I can't not answer them. Yeah, you know? of course. It's, but, um, it's it's like it's just it it destroys everyone. Yeah, it you does. know, it just it totally really it just totally destroys everyone. I and even really even don't kids, realize, like, even kids getting bullied so much in school, all the way through, say primary or secondary or whatever. It's even in their adult yeah, it's like, like yeah. their whole life. It doesn't. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't. Just stop when you're they, finished your, yeah, your exactly. junior leave we have talked before yeah. on another episode just about bullying and yeah. and and social media and stuff like that. And like. I think like we could probably sit here all day with you, Jackie. Yeah. We probably get, have you back once a week <laughs> to talk because, but it is so prevalent. It's like mm. everywhere. It's I don't think any of us adults or with our children don't hear something. Or no. I suppose the important no. message is like don't do it. But also, if you know somebody else that's doing it. Stop say them. stop yeah. like stop or or cut them out of your life or do something yeah. or tell somebody or like you don't know who's on the other end of, i'm not going to even say the phone or the laptop or because it's sometimes like what was happening to Cole was in person yeah. what was happening but mm. you just don't know mm. what can happen you, and you don't especially you don't know with the kids anymore because like we were all we all grew up like a hundred years ago and yeah. there was like and six T V stations yeah. and you didn't have a phone. So yeah. if there was a bully so at school or if there yeah. was a bully out in your circle of mm. friends, mm. you went home and you were mm. safe yeah. with your family. Mm. And but not anymore. Like mm. because yeah. everywhere they look it's there, it's on their laptop, everywhere. it's on their tablet, yeah. it's on their phone, yeah. it's on their fucking yeah. smart watches. Like they can't get they away can't from get it. Yeah. Away. And I don't buy that excuse then. Oh we were only messing, we were only having no. fun. No, they know look there's not there's not one person that knows exactly what's going on inside someone else's yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. like, and I always say that in the school, like that person that you're dragging down, you're 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 ripping strips off them or whatever. You don't know if they're going through one mental health issues, family issues, grown up issues, even mm. at the age that they're. It's, yeah. it's it's hard even yeah. now, isn't it? There's like growing up and stuff like than what we than yeah. what we would add, and um, so you don't know what's going on inside someone else's head that that. You know, you're putting that mental health yeah. even deeper and deeper and deeper in, in, into in, in, into their head. But you can't turn around then and say, "Oh, but we were only messing." We didn't. Yeah. You're not going it. <laughs> That's but also, like I've dealt with, because I'm an eleven year old girl, so I've, I've dealt with issues of bullying and stuff. And a lot of parents, and even talked at school with other issues that come up with other parents. A lot of parents are either oblivious or they don't really want to know. And that's important. Like parents and schools and communities just need to do more yeah they all need to do more you need to pay more attention yeah you mm-hmm. need to pay more attention mm. because it's happening yeah, yeah. it's happening mm. and people are dying or yeah. people are cutting off their lives and mm. staying in their rooms and mm. they're they're giving up yeah. on things they love and passions and life yeah. that because yeah communities yeah. and ed- educators and parents and are but not don't forget you know, you can't blame the bullies all the time either that's what i'm saying it's all that so it's, it's all it's the that. apps it's yeah. the, the the snapchat and the, yeah they're making yeah millions billions whatever yeah. they're making and they are not doing they, enough they, no they're absolutely not they don't care once they're no. making yeah, they're money, making their money and um, they should be yeah. held accountable for yeah. in in so many ways but they're not going to because they're too much and even especially in ireland they they fund ireland so much as well yeah. so they're not going to be punishing they're the likes of facebook and yeah. all because because of money, yeah, yeah. Do you know, so I so have many to say people no, are dying. Instagram are on the ball because they are, yeah, they Chris, are. Chris, yeah, Chris yeah. put a picture up on, only a couple of months ago. He posted a picture, I think, with Jamie was doing something, but I was in the background and I was making a mad face. And when I zoomed in and seen it, I commented underneath it and I said, The head on me, Chris, I'll fucking kill you. 
Well, they talk to him. We can't imagine. Yeah, yeah. And they, they have. Been. They, they have. Slap on yeah, yeah. Because sometimes they send you a message. On say the DMs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they say if you if you said something, they'll send you a message message back saying, yeah, "Are you this, sure you want to send yeah. us or, or something yeah. to something to that?" Yeah, yeah. Basically, no, I got you know, just think about it. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Which is great. I'm yeah, happy to see that. It is great to see. Now sometimes I've sent something that literally was nothing to do with anything. And you're like, "Oh, but I did." I was glad to see it. Very important. But not only that, and TikTok. Now, come here, I'm 53, I shouldn't even know what TikTok is. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I do, I flip yeah. through, and some of the, 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 the videos are funny, but there's people that, that do put up stuff, you know, and and you just know by them, you yeah. just go say, you're going to get torn apart, like, yeah. Jesus, don't oh, put it up. And like, the, the, like the dwarfism uh, or, views or anything, anything, and anything you're like, to, yeah. but it shouldn't be there, like, that should have been no. flagged yeah. the minute it went up, and mm-hmm. it, yeah, it's not oh, like, yeah. and social media is just so huge now. Mm. That's all young mm. people, especially, care about. Yeah. You know, they just went and get Because they grew up with it, they like don't that. know any different. Yeah. And it does, it has to be mm. monitored mm. a lot closer. Well, it monitored at all, to be honest. At all, yeah, on, exactly. On most and, apps, and, and, yeah. and it's not, I know in Instagram is, yeah, yeah they are. Good. They did do something. And I think in but turn, Facebook is because they own it. Yeah, um, totally but one, yeah. it is more but now TikTok and Snapchat would be yeah. more what so younger kids no, are. I don't um, really put anything on TikTok because me, my kids are disgusted yeah. by me being on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. But I've, like that, I'd be scrolling and having yeah. a look yeah. at everybody yeah. else's stuff. Yeah, but some know. of the comments that people yeah. get are horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm. really, really bad. Really, like, the other day, Aaliyah put up a picture of her or a video of her and her friend dancing. And straight away she's like, Mom, look, and like, a girl had written under it, girl and like a vomiting face. Oh my Do you know, God. now I was like, just black. Again, her. jealousy but and stuff and all. It's just horrible. Yeah. It's just like Do you know yeah. what? If you, you know, if you're if you're pretty, if you're yeah. if you're if you're, if you're stunning, if you're good in sports, if you're great in school, yeah. doesn't you're matter what you are, people, you're liked, people are going yeah. to be yeah. jealous of you, no matter what what yeah. it is, people hate that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, it's and just, it's just no need, it's unnecessary and yeah. Just cruel, like, yeah. it's awful, yeah. Well, Jackie, I have to say, you're an yeah. amazing woman. I know you don't like being told <laughs> that, but you are an yeah. amazing woman. And yeah. what you're doing is just, it's it's just such a, a lovely, um, I don't even have a word, yeah. but for, for your daughter, you're doing it for Nicole. Everything that you do yeah. is for Nicole. Mm. You're not going to rest until, <laughs> until it's her. finished and yeah. until you see yeah. her. But, mm-hmm. Um, it's really important work that you're doing, and I, I, as a mummy, I appreciate what you're doing. And uh, thank you. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that, and I'm so sorry that Nicole had to go through that. No, yeah. And I really hope that the people responsible for this, they they can't be done under Coco's law, as you said. But I, I hope they never forget what they've done. Yeah. And, um, Oh, thanks so much for mm-hmm. doing all of this and thanks for coming in and thank talking you. to us. Oh, thank you for absolutely anything we can do. Yeah, yeah. As we uh, are going to as us uh, as a, a podcast and, and just as what well, I would like to say to your friend, we will do absolutely you. anything yeah. we can do to help you, support you and get the word out there as well. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. I'm so grateful that you came. Mm. Obviously I've said you're someone that I followed. I shared it with the girls. I was like, we need this woman on here. I feel it's such an important issue. I am absolutely devastated that you had to go through what you've got through to get where you are. I don't think we've ever been this upset on a bloody podcast. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, yeah, look, keep doing what you're doing. And again, I know you don't feel proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself because you made choices that are impacting so many other people. Um, like as Nora said, as a mother, like I couldn't be more grateful for what you're doing. Um, I just think you're amazing, and I think your lads have a hero to look up to. Mm. That's you are your hero. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we will do everything we can. We're going to share all your links, and we are definitely going to come up with something. Yes, we're going to come up to with to raise money for you because oh, it's so important you. to keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I do hope funding comes in properly for you yeah. soon mm. because. I don't understand how it's not there. Um, as I said, we can talk to you all day long. Um, mm. But you've been amazing. Thank We're so grateful you came on. And look, if anybody is struggling or has questions, we're going to share the, the links to Hug and all of that. Um, and I'm sure Jackie is open to her DMs. Um, yeah, yeah. And definitely give her a follow yeah. and give her support for what she's doing. It's 
just so important. But thank you so much for thank coming you. on. Thanks, Gail. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I don't know, you hate your neck being touched, uh, so yeah. Robert, your neck. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Fox. <laughs> thank you.